sweet princess. My gift shall be the... she want here? Shh. Well, quite a glittering assemblage, King Stephen. Royalty, nobility, the gentry, and... Oh, how quaint. Even the rabble. I really felt quite distressed at not receiving an invitation. You weren't wanted. Not what? Oh. Oh, dear, what an awkward situation. I had hoped it was merely due to some oversight. Well, in that event, I'd best be on my way. And you're not offended, Your Excellency? Why, no, Your Majesty. And to show I bear no ill will, I, too, shall bestow a gift on the child. Listen well, all of you. The princess shall indeed grow in grace and beauty, beloved by all who know her. But before the sun sets on her 16th birthday, she shall prick her finger on the spindle of a spinning wheel and die. Oh, no. <laughs> Seize that creature! Stand back, you fools! Despair, <laughs> your majesty. Oh, despair, your majesty. Meriwether still, has, Meriwether her still has her gift to give. Then she can undo this fearful curse? Oh, no, sire. Maleficent's powers are far too great. But she can help. But just do your best, dear. Yes, go on. Sweet princess, if through this wicked witch's trick a spindle should your finger prick, a ray of hope there still may be in this, the gift I give to thee. Not in death, but just in sleep, the fateful prophecy you'll keep. And from this slumber you shall wake when true love's kiss the spell shall break. But King Stephen, still fearful of his daughter's life, did then and there decree that every spinning wheel in the kingdom should on that very day be burned. So, t'was done.